this time on Game Grumps. None of you are allowed to step foot in the crime scene. But I'm already here. So if the door was blocked from the inside and there's no way in or out till we broke the window. It's like a bottle episode. Yeah. <laughs> the Monokuma file specifically said she hadn't suffered any other injuries. What would cause her to vomit blood? Did she watch Mean Girls too? Wait, is that even a movie? I have no idea. She mentioned more than once how protein was good for all sorts of ailments. Like a blunt trauma to the head. Coco claimed she didn't go see her, but can I really believe her? I trust her. She's just a murderer. Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Welcome back to Game Grumps, everyone. Mm -hmm. Uh, we are, um, Sakura is dead. We're, we're both bummed about it because we loved her. Right. And, um... Now, uh, they're splitting up, and Byakya is taking control of the situation, because he's a, a big swinging tool. I, I truly do hate him. I, I wish he would Yeah, he's the, he's the worst. Go away. Like, I feel like my blood wouldn't boil as much every time he's on screen if he just wasn't on screen. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, uh, I think I hate Toko the most. Really? Well, not Toko, but Genocide Jill. Yeah. <laughs> she... She's- he's annoying in a douchey way, she's an annoying in an extremely aggressive way, I which see. is louder. Yeah. <laughs> okay, please continue. Yeah. Uh, an order! Fine. Fine. I'll stay behind. You don't have to- you don't- you know you don't have to. Then it's settled. Let's begin, shall we? Hold on! Before that, there's something I want to say! Which is? Not witches! <laughs> Hero, <laughs> Pyaki, and Toko, none of you are allowed to step foot in the crime scene. What? But I'm already here. What if you killed Sakura? I won't let someone like that come anywhere near her. Don't be stupid. Our lives are in just as much danger as yours. We have every right to investigate. No. I don't care what you say. I'm not letting the one who killed Sakura anywhere near her. Even if it means I have to use force, you're not getting in here. And I am a trained Jedi. <laughs> Even if it means I have to kill Sakura. <laughs> <laughs> well, it appears further discussion would be a waste of time. How about a compromise? It's all clear now. I won't ask you to let all of us in. Just let me. The murderer. <laughs> what? <laughs> you don't really care, do you? You're both useless anyway. Yep. Nope, don't really care! I'd rather spend my time coming up with another splendid fantasy involving Master anyway! Ugh. <laughs> and you, Hero? Do you really object? Um... If you're gonna go that far, what can I do? I mean, I don't have anything to hide, so why should I care? It's all clear now. Then it's decided. Nothing's decided! What's decided? Nothing's decided! I know how you feel, Hina. But you should agree to his request. But, but hey. We have to find out who killed Sakura. For those of us still alive, and to honor Sakura's memory. Mm, fine. I guess that's okay. You might even say, honor Sakura's spirit. <laughs> oh! Woo! I'm hooting and hollering over here for that one, baby. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> no matter what, Bianca, you absolutely are allowed to touch her, okay? Naturally. Who would want to touch a filthy dead body? You shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> That's enough fighting. We need to focus on the investigation from here on out. Everyone, keep this in mind. We, if we can't uncover Sakura's killer, all of us face execution. Finding out who killed Sakura, it's not a matter of hoping we can do it, but if we want to survive, we have to do it. It's kind of a hopeless hope. We have no choice but to just do it! Oh, there is blood. Man, look at those muscles on Sakura. Yeah, I Dang. Know. You're not gonna be so flexing beefy. anymore. I better check the Monokuma file before anything else. The victim was Sakura Ogami. The time of death is estimated to be around 12 noon. The body was discovered in the rec room on the third floor of the school. There is evidence of a strong blow to the victim's head. No other injuries were noted. Wow. However... Huh. Seems that at some point the victim suffered from violent vomiting of blood. Oh, so she was poisoned. Poisoned and then hit over the head. Oh. I, th I think the case this time might be a challenge. Why is that? So... The only way into the rec room is the door we just came through. And that door had been jammed shut with a chair from inside the rec room. 
which means the killer would have had to escape somehow after barring the door. Maybe she did it to herself. Because she didn't want to cause any Bashed more... herself over the head? Yeah, maybe she... Well, maybe she was, like, stumbling because she was poisoned. I don't know. Like, but she slumped in a chair. I don't know about that. Yeah. So, if the door was blocked from the inside and there's no way in or out till we broke the window, there's, like, zero escape, right? In other words, this is a classic locked room murder. Okay. It's like a bottle episode. <laughs> yeah. Locked room murder. I guess you might see this kind of thing a lot in mystery movies or books or whatever, but could it really happen in real life and right before our very eyes like this? Are you curious to hear more about what a locked room murder entails? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> when you break down this kind of murder mystery, there are four basic types. Oh! Earth, wind, fire, <laughs> and water. The first type is when the locked room is created after the actual crime is committed. This simply means that the killer commits his crime, then, those, then through some special method, method seals the room. Woof. This mainly involves some sort of trick involving the locking of the room. Mm -hmm. Basic approaches include using a string or simple mechanism. There are a number of variations. But we haven't determined how the room was locked yet. So for that, we'd all ha we'd all we'd have to do is check the door to see if that's what it was, right? Okay. The second type is when the locked room already exists before the crime is committed. Oh. In other words, basically, the killer uses a special contraption or tool from outside to target the victim inside. You push a switch and it fires a handgun. You shoot an arrow through a gap in the door, something like that. However, but in this case, that doesn't seem to fit. There are no guns or arrows in the school. And the door doesn't have a gap that would allow it. And also, she clearly wasn't killed by gun or arrow. Yeah, I think we can probably cross that one off the list. It's true. The third type is when the killer stays in the room until it's opened up. What do you mean by that? In other words... They stay hidden, and when the door is opened, they use the confusion to blend in with the group. They pretend they showed up along with everyone else, and that's that. That sounds like it could have been possible, maybe. God knows I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> and the fourth and final type is when it wasn't actually a locked room at all. Not a locked room? By that I mean there's actually an alternate escape route somewhere within the room. You see this a lot in novels and things, but in reality it's generally not possible. Then you think we can cross that one off too? It depends. Show me your wooshy wooshy sparkly circle thing and we'll see what we can investigate. <laughs> yeah. I believe so, yes. So when it comes to locked room mysteries, those are the basics. So there are four possibilities. Let's go over them by flashing back to what you just said. <laughs> then Kyoko, which of those four choices seems the most likely in this case? That's a good question. Answering that should be our primary focus during this trial. But first, a quick recap of the four types. <laughs> right now, I can't really say. I see... UP! <laughs> The way the killer set up the locked room until I figure that out, the truth behind Sakura's death will stay hidden. It's definitely a tough mystery. I need to concentrate and investigate as much as I can. For Sakura, if nothing else. Whoa, where did you come from? Where did you go? <laughs> she was playing Connect Four. <laughs> this looks this like. This looks like some, some oh. kind of rapper. <laughs> yeah, boy! <laughs> oh, that's. <laughs> Little B! So stupid. Do you recognize <laughs> so it, Hina? Well, yeah, I mean, I gave it to her. That's a candy wrapper. Sakura got super upset when she found out Genocide Jack had attacked me, right? So after we left the nurse's office, I gave it to her. I thought it might help her calm down a little. So you gave that candy to Sakura. Why am I, like, lying down on the floor? I found a big box of it in the <laughs> warehouse. I, I really like them. <laughs> These chairs are big. <laughs> Actually, as soon as we could get into the warehouse, I took the entire box back to my room. I like to imagine she's on like one of those like mechanics wheel things. <laughs> like she's just kind of wheels into frame. Like, actually, oh, as yeah. soon as they get to the warehouse, and then she just wheels out of frame. <laughs> Bye. Uh, I made sure nobody else could get their hands on them. <laughs> nobody's gonna lay a finger on these butterfingers. <laughs> you really like them that much? But yeah. I, what do you think this is? Some kind of baby Ruth bullshit? <laughs> but I wanted Sakura to get a chance to try one for herself. That's why I gave it to her. But now. They've lost all their flavor! Hey, what, uh, the candies or Sakura? Yeah. Well, both, I guess. I love how dramatic this is. She starts crying. They've lost 
another flavor. Hina. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Hmm. Okay. Maybe a little All more right. over here. Oh, it's like shattered glass. There are shards of glass scattered all around the chair Sakura was sitting on. The glass is all red, and these are the top and bottom sections of a bottle, right? This must have originally been a bottle. Oh, great I job! I remember when there were bottles in the game. Huh? There's something else on the floor near the glass. It's a figure. It fits in the palm of my hand. It's a Monokuma figure. Nice. Okay. okay. There's blood over here. Oh, yeah. There's a blood stain in front of the magazine shelf. It must have come from Sakura, right? But that doesn't make sense. Why is it so far away from where she died? What? Well, I don't know. She probably barfed over there and... Etc. Et oh, there's so much to look at. Sakura drew her last breath, sitting slumped forward in this chair. There's obvious evidence of the blow to the head Sakura suffered. Normally, I wouldn't have any problem believing that's what killed her, but according to the Monokuma file, she also had vomited blood. And I can see a trace of blood on her lips for sure. So what would have caused her to vomit blood? The Monokuma file specifically said she hadn't suffered any other injuries. Nice. What would cause her to vomit blood? <laughs> Did she watch Mean Girls too? <laughs> Wait, is that even a movie? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe her getting hit on the head somehow caused her to start vomiting blood. Not a chance. That's fine. However, your eyes have landed on a most interesting location. Interesting. It was a movie. Mean Girls 2. It came out in 2011 as a 31% on Rotten Tomatoes. My joke did make sense. Yes, most interesting. Don't you agree? Oh, no! I don't think I'd call it interesting. I think I'd call it stupid. But it does make me wonder. The reason Sakura vomited blood absolutely has to be connected to why she died. It absolutely has to be. On account of that I said so. All right. Oh, it's protangazoline. There's some kind of plastic container rolling around near the entrance of the room. It looks like a protein drink, and it's empty. Sakura must have drank it. Everyone knows how much she loved her protein. And she mentioned more than once how protein was good for all sorts of ailments. Like a blunt trauma to the head. <laughs> I wouldn't take that to heart if I were you. I know. But still, this protein can. It's got a label with on it. With that protein, though. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> where are you going with all that? It's got a label on it that says Chem A2. <laughs> where are you going with all that hot, frothy teen? <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me, Sakura mentioned how the Chem Lab had all kinds of health stuff, so she must have gotten this from the Chem Lab. Just a second. But that's strange. What is? Hey. You see what's scattered around the can? Shards of light blue glass. They must be parts of the window I broke to get inside. But they aren't just scattered around the can. They're also underneath it. Why does that matter? So... Oh, my sweet summer stupid ass child. I can't say for sure yet, but you're probably going to want to take note of it. <laughs> I feel like it'll become an important clue later on. All right, well, since you're God, I will listen to you. An important clue? I'm not sure I see how... Nice! <laughs> <laughs> Too late, it's a nice bullet! <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to... Nice! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> the chair was shoved up against the doorknob so we couldn't get the door open. There's no evidence that any kind of string or mechanism was used on the chair. In other words, there's no reason to think the chair had anything special done to it. But I won't give up! That chair is so, so suspect in the bird. <laughs> <laughs> this door is the only way in or out of the rec room. The door doesn't have a lock and there's no evidence that the mountings have been tampered with. The only notable change to the door is the smashed window. But don't think for a second that this smashed window isn't locked up, cocked up, and put behind bars. Which happens, of course, when I broke it to get inside. There's no evidence that any kind of string or mechanism was used on the door, in other oh. words. 
I don't see anything suspicious about the door itself. <laughs> yeah, that that is weird, because you smashed in the window, and then everyone came right in, so why would the protein drink be above the glass? Mm-hmm. Maybe somebody mm -hmm. was hiding in the room. That's food for thought, and planted it there afterwards, or dropped it. Mm. That's... Or maybe dropped it on their way out. Oh. Oh. That's protein shake for thought, right? <laughs> it sure is. Okay, go ahead. Hmm, having examined both the door and the chair, there's no doubt the reason the door didn't open was simply because the chair was shoved up against it. This kept the door knob from turning and the door from opening. And there was no evidence of the door or chair being tampered with or anything like that. So the killer must have created the locked door from in the inside, not from the outside. Nice. Okay. Good job. What else we got, honey bunches of oats? Boom. There are four red bottles lined up on the shelf. One fell off and broke its elf. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well done. And inside each bottle there's some kind of Monokuma figure. Mm. What I'm wondering is, how'd they get those figures inside the bottles? And how'd the one on the floor get outside of the bottle? <laughs> it's no different from your standard ship in a bottle. Huh? Know where the bottle's opening is smaller than the boat placed inside? You've never seen that? Oh, yeah, you maybe Uncultured maybe swine? So this is the Monokuma version of that. A Monokuma bottle, if you will. Nice. Okay. Wait. Let me see that... again? What? The Let me see that shelf again? The shelf I'm looking at? Yeah, yeah, can you get a closer look? No. One more time? Oh, man. Because it showed everything and it actually looked like two bottles were missing. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it, it looked- It still does, actually, because the- the chess pieces are pawn, rook, the knight one was smashed on the floor, bishop, blank, and then king, so the queen would be somewhere. There's a second missing bottle, baby. Oh my god. I feel like I'm finally starting to make sense of things little by little. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. The Monokuma bottle sitting on the shelf. One fell off and K I S S I N G. The Monokuma figure we found on the ground. The red shards of glass was probably started out as a bottle, which would mean Sakura must have been hit in the head with a Monokuma bottle, right? The shards of glass and the Monokuma figure are evidence of that. So I think it's safe to say that the Monokuma bottle ha was the weapon, or not. Maybe yeah. it could be, but definitely one of the two of those options. The same, the same shelf full of magazines. There's all different kinds of magazines here: dumb ones, bad ones, boring ones. They've got it all. Soccer. Yeah, I got. I got all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought there was. Oh, it's it's talking about the blood over there. All right, uh, I'll talk to Owie. What the heck? We already know who did it. We know. It was me, uh, Makoto. Pyaki and Toko are hero. It had to be one of them. They couldn't stand the sight of her. You agree with me, don't you, Makoto? Uh, well, I don't want to say anything for sure without finding out more. Mm, then let me help you find out more! <laughs> you see, Sakura asked all three of them to meet with her. You know where? Right here in the rec room. Uh, slow down. After I went to the nurse's office this morning, Sakura and I both left together, right? Well, eventually she went off on her own. But when I saw her again after that, she told me. She said she left a note for each of them. She asked them to meet her in the rec room by noon. By noon? Ah, uh, so confused. The Monokuma file said she died right around then. I'm telling you the truth. I heard it right from Sakura herself. And I tried to stop her. <laughs> Are you turn into the cowardly lion? Put him up. Put him up. <laughs> But she wouldn't listen. She said not to worry that she wanted to talk to them. And this is what happened. If I'd stopped her by force even, this would have never happened. Hina. The candy, it just doesn't taste good anymore. <laughs> Hina. <laughs> it's impossible not to have regrets. I know. I've had a few. Nice. <laughs> nice! Regrets! <laughs> but the fact that she had asked those three to meet with her, and she asked them to come to the rec room at noon, the same time and place she ended up dying, it might be good to confirm what I just heard with the three of them directly. I'm starting to think she didn't intend on dying when she came up here. <laughs> but for Sakura to have been killed... Yeah, she's not the type who would go down without a fight. And she certainly didn't, I would say. She was the ultimate martial artist, strong in body, mind, and spirit. 
So how was the killer able to get the upper hand on her? I wonder, did someone get the upper oh, hand? Oh, they must have taken her by surprise, right? Certainly, they would have needed to if they expected to stand any chance against her. Hmm. I mean, oh, one sick. would guess they drugged her and then they hit her over the head. Looks like they were having a real intense game of Othello. Hmm. Yeah. Well, every game of Othello is intense. I fucking love that game. What do you want? You're bothering me. Um, there's something I'd like to talk to you about. Make it quick. Is it true that Sakura asked you to meet her in the rec room? <laughs> so you found out. Interesting. I mean, why wouldn't I? We're investigating the fucking murder. Then it's true? I did receive a note to that effect, yes. But what fool would, would do what it said and risk being killed by that monster? So you didn't go see her? Of course not. I ripped the note to shreds and threw it away. I haven't seen Sakura today at all. Byaku's, except right now. Byakuya says he didn't go see her, is that the truth? Well, until I can prove otherwise, I have no choice but to accept it as Come fact. On. If you're all finished, please remove yourself from my sight. Okay, thanks. <laughs> okay, this is a very small room, but... It's fine. <laughs> you got it. Tiger. Tiger. <laughs> Bird. Birdie. Birdie. Um... So, what, what else? There's nobody th else in I here and I did I think that's everything. everything in the room? I guess I'll just leave the room then. Wait, what's over here? Oh, I can look at this. Oh, nice. Huh? The locker's open and they're on the inside. It's a handprint? Why? What's a handprint doing here? Looks like someone touched the inside of the locker and left a handprint in all the dust. That's true. And it looks quite fresh, too. And fly. <laughs> and funky fresh. Yeah. I'd say someone was hiding here in the locker, and they left behind a little something extra. So then, maybe the killer hid in so, here until the locked room was open, don't you think? So in the end. <laughs> oh, we'll never be able to hear that again. I know. Sad. Endu enduring all the confusion, they popped out and joined the rest of the group. Unfortunately, that's not a possibility. Why not? Think back. Before we opened the door, we looked inside the room, right? Oh. Uh, oh yeah, and the locker was already open at that point. Indeed. Good thing everyone has a photographic memory. <laughs> so there's no way someone could have hidden in there until after we opened the door. Yeah. So then, what does that handprint mean? Nice. Nice. Listen. Well, Makoto, have you finished with your general investigation? Yeah, I think so, for the most so part. Good. Then you should probably go talk with people now. I'm on guard duty, so I can't leave. Which is why I've decided you'll go in my place. She's decided? She's gotten a little more pushy since we had our issue. But she's right. I do have to go talk to the others. Sakura wanted to meet with two other people. I need to hear what they have to say. I'm out of here. I'm okay, cool. Fucking out of here. I think... I think that's everything. You did some good investigating. Dead body. I feel like I really know this scene. Blood, broken glass, the wrapper, the locker, glass bottles, speak with Owie, broken glass, chair. Got them all, baby. I got Tell. them all. Tell. I'm freaking out of here. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Uh, where was I headed again? Oh, to meet with everybody else. Uh, to, yeah, to talk to the other people. Which where? are just Hero and... Toko. Yeah. Where are they? Where- Where are they? Where the fuck are they? <gasps> oh, that's where I just was. <laughs> okay, so they're not on the map, so I just- There's a whole exit. bunch of people! <laughs> leave the room, I guess. Um, how do I fucking get out? Uh, I guess I'll just fast travel out to the outside of this room. Cool. Oh, no, I can't. It won't let me. There's still more to investigate, I guess. But what else? Oh. I've, leave, I've looked at everything. Bring up your... Bring up your, uh, sight again, where you can see all the circles. Sight... Oh. Okay. Well then. <laughs> Those other two probably went back to their rooms. Oh yeah, Taka. Forgot about him. Koto, that's yeah, me. oh, dude, we've had so many friends that are dead now. <laughs> Junko, God, she didn't get a moment. She didn't even get a yeah. moment. 
she seemed so important at the beginning. Yeah. Ding dong. And after a few seconds. <laughs> Who's there? Ah, the most negative aura I've ever felt. An aura of total decay. Well, what do you want? So you're back to normal. Genocide Jack isn't around anymore. Don't even say her name. It makes me sick to my stomach. I was in such a good mood, too. She didn't look like she was in a good mood. Hey, I was right. hoping to talk to you about something. Is now a bad time? It's always a bad time! <laughs> Obviously annoyed, Toko slithered out into the hall. <laughs> you said you wanted to talk. <gasps> talk? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to talk about the fact that Sakura had asked to meet with you. I don't know what you're talking about. Byaki already told me he had asked to meet with him. What? She wanted to meet with Master 2? Ah! I just said 2, didn't I? Uh, I guess now it's totally obvious, huh? Yeah, pretty much. Now can you tell me about it? <laughs> I admit, I did get the note. But I didn't go see her. I was scared, so I couldn't bring myself to go. Hmm. Toko claims she didn't go see her, but can I really believe her? Well, until eh, I can prove otherwise. I trust her. What? Yeah, I trust her. She's just a murderer. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I have no choice but to accept it as fact. Is that good enough? Can I go back to my room? <laughs> With that, Toko I want to ride my bicycle. I want to ride my bike. <laughs> nice. Nice. All right. Um, then go to Hero. And Hero. Hero was like over here, right? I remember his big dumb hair right here. Love it. Looks good. I press the doorbell. Ding dong. And after a few seconds. Nah. They didn't draw me peeking through the door. <laughs> What's up, Makoto? Did you need something? Need something! Yeah, actually, I just wanted to check something. It's about how Sakura wanted to meet with you. How'd you know about that? Oh, I'm psychic! <laughs> Ooh, uh, did you maybe gaze into my soul? Have your special abilities awakened in you? Um. <laughs> but I'm not the only one she wanted to meet with. I'm not the only one to walk across the fire for you. Ogre told me herself that she asked Byakya and Toko to come too. What? When did Sakura tell you that? Oh, uh, well... When she asked me to be with her, of course. But didn't she write you a note? Yeah, uh, a note. She, uh... Oh boy. She gave it to me in person, and she happened to mention the others, like, in passing. I gotta be honest, this is super suspicious. So then you went and met with Sakura? No way, I totally didn't. Why would I ever do that? Yeah, definitely suspicious. Actually, Last time I saw Ogre was when Hina got hurt and I took her to the nurse's office. Don't look at me. I haven't seen her since then. While I'm- That makes me less suspicious of him because the person who's suspicious is never the one who does it. Yeah. But also... He said the last time he saw her was before the time that he saw her last that he's saying he's- whatever. While I'm here, could you show me the note she gave you? Oh, um, do I still have it? Let's see. Hero was feeling around in his pockets. Ah, hey, uh, sorry, it looks like I don't have it anymore. YOU FUCKING it IDIOT! Must <laughs> it must have fallen into an incinerator filled with acid and then had monkeys punch it for a while. <laughs> with a big goofy smile on his face, he pulled his hands back out of his pockets. But when he did, I saw something flutter to the ground. Something had fallen out of Hero's pocket. <gasps> Uh, Gasp! I just want to uh, candy! Ah! <laughs> uh, this is like the easiest, um, murder case yeah, ever. Seriously. Quick as the wind, Hero snatched it back up again and shoved it back into his pocket. Hey, come on. Uh, sorry, just a bit of trash I forgot to throw out. Trash that perfectly matches the trash at the crime scene. Trash? What? Trash? What? Anyway, I can't deny that Ogre asked to meet with me, but I never went. So, well, if you'll excuse me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Girl. I don't know about him. <laughs> Before waiting for a reply, Hero quickly slipped back into his room. Hero said that was just trash, but there's no way that's all there was to it.
Pocket trust was for <laughs> Okay, so I've heard from okay. Toko and Hiro. Um, what next? I'll definitely have to look at the actual crime scene again, but on top of that, maybe I should find out more about the protein can we found on the floor of the rec room. I'm sure it must okay. have come from the chem lab. So where should I start? Well, you should start it where you just said you were gonna go, to the fucking chem lab. Yeah, y y your words were exactly perfect. Like, why else w I mean, right? Uh, yeah, of course. Chem lab. It was on the fourth floor. On the fourth floor. Oh, good, and our boy Byakuya is there. Oh, Byakuya is there, alright. Well, maybe we should look at Excellent. it next time on Game Grumps. <gasps> oh my god, that's a great idea. <laughs> I try to suck the ass into my dick, and then suck it out of my dick again. But sometimes... It doesn't work. I couldn't hear any of that, Aaron. I'm sorry. 